Okay guys, welcome to the personal property tour for 2 James Street in Cellar Dyke. It's an amazing four bedroom, two reception, three bathroom, period property. It has got a beautiful back garden, elevated, sits in the sun all day long, a double garage out the back and a workshop out the back as well. What more could you ask for? Even better, it's on the Fife Coastal Path, it's along from the harbour, it's along from the beach for open water swimming, it's along from the cafes and bistros and restaurants, and it's also the other way, it's along from the cellar dyke tidal pool, the harbour and everything else you'd ever want. This is a true lifestyle choice, ultimate family living for anyone. He welcomes to God's country. <laughs> let me pop round the camera and let you see this property from afar. So here it is right here. So it, from there, right along to here. Now that pend to the side there goes up to get access to the rear. You can see the stonework on here as well. And as we walk in the front door and we're immediately met with the reception hall. Now, quite deceptive because exactly around the corner is almost like another room. This is the reception hall right here and here. So space for cloaks and everything. And anything else you'd want to have in here. Today we're going up to the upper landing, the first floor. Um, you've got your bathroom across to the side, which is complementary towards the two bedrooms that are down here. Although one of the other bedrooms has an ensuite shower room. And then across to the front bedroom. So a good size double bedroom. And here, a fair bit of space in here. A lot of natural light coming in um, across to this what I could say is almost a master bedroom, but wait till you see upstairs. <laughs> wait till you see the top floor. I would want to change this round. And then you've got a good sized double bedroom. You've got these wardrobes for storage. And then your ensuite shower room with thermostatic shower and everything you'd want in here. Nicely well finished. I'll give you this view from another angle. Then off up into the first floor landing. I'm going to go out the back after this, so I'll show you this first. We'll go out the back and then we'll talk about, we'll come in and go upstairs to the final room up the top. Wait till you see up the top. Wow, it'll blow you away. Double bedroom across to the side here. What I like is the, the original wood timber beam in there. It's great. I mean, this, this, actually, this property used to be four different properties way back when it was first built. I mean, you know, just the history behind this is unbelievable. And then we'll have a reception area here as well. So we'll have a space for a dining table and chairs. Which is plenty of room. Plenty of parties have gone on here, I've been told. So it's a really great house for entertaining. Wait till you see at the back as well. Uh, cupboard to the side here. There's cupboards under there as well, so there's plenty of storage. And then we come into the kitchen. Now, what I immediately see about the kitchen is this island that sits in the middle for dining if you want, or breakfasting. But it's a great space. Got a funny feeling that's carnadine flooring as well. In there. So great space. Um, eye level oven. You've also got a space under there for your microwave. Um, you have your hob and extractor in here. You've also, in here, got your dishwasher and space for freestanding fridge freezer. Um, and just to top it all off, you've got your own wine cooler. So no expense spared when this kitchen was fitted to make sure it ticked all the boxes. And then I'll cross into your sitting room. Now there's plenty of space in there. You can see this immediately because you see this is the first time in a long time I've seen a four-seater city right across. So it shows you the sheer depth of this room itself. And then across the back wall again, there's that timber original beam. And here. And we've got all these windows to bring in a lot of natural light. Uh, this is the first opportunity you see. Look, 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 this is what's to come. There is the sea right there through there. So that's how close you are. Um, and I'll tell you more about that in a wee while. Um, so just hang on, bear with me. Uh, let's now pop out the back to the back garden. Now, what I immediately love about the back garden, out back garden, I'll just stop right now and let you see that. Look at these clear blue skies. Amazing, isn't it? You could just sit here all day long in that garden. 
but even more of a bonus, you've got that entrance to the side. So you have an entrance to the front downstairs, you also have this entrance as well, so possibly, if you wanted to, you could subdivide these properties. One downstairs from the front and one access from here. Um, okay, so now you have this steps going up to there, but they actually put these in to make it quicker to get across. Um, but look at these original stone walls. Beautiful feature to this area. I'd be highly tempted to be keeping kayaks, canoes, bikes, everything in here. So when you want it, you can just pop out round the corner, you're straight onto the beach and you're in the water. Within, I would say, less than four minutes. Um, so let's pop up over to the garden and then we'll cover the double garage at the rear. So now this is three o'clock in the afternoon. Sun's sitting there, you can see. So we'll go all the way around. Sun's going to go down round about there, which is ideal for this area. But this is sitting in the sun right now, so it'll be a perfect place to relax and enjoy. Enjoy it all day. Look at these clear blue skies. And there's a cracking wall there, which gives a lot of privacy. In here. And they've got that raised deck into the rear, under the, under the pergola area. Um, so you could pop in here, if it gets a wee bit drizzly, spend some time with your friends and your family, and then just enjoy your barbecue off to the side there, which is a wee built area for a barbecue as well. I'm sure you'd agree, it is beautiful, isn't it? Now this is where you start to see where we are. There's the harbour in Anstruther, and there's the lighthouse at the end. That's how close we are. We're literally five minutes round the corner. But you're nice and secluded here, and it's nice and peaceful. So it's a great, a great property to go anywhere you want to go when you want to do it. And just have your peace, tranquility, and relax and enjoy it. So let's pop into the garage. So off to the rear here at the garage, we've got a porch area, which is for storage, um, tumble dryer, stuff like that. And if you want an additional freezer, um, workshop area, you can see that. Current owner's been working on cars and stuff. And then we just pop round and we see your double door to the rear, electric roller door. And here, this is a huge space. I think they said at one point they had six cars in here. Smaller cars, obviously, but it's got a huge amount of space in here. And then all the way around to here, you can see the windows to the rear. Potential, possibly, it has a WC in here. So potential to redevelop to something else, or would you just keep it as a garage for off-street parking? Because it would be ideal for that. That's what most people want around here. There's so a good head height in here and also good storage area and plus a workshop and a garage. And then off to the side. Let's go and see. <laughs> Pièce de résistance, as they say. Let's go and have a look at this. The upper landing and the upstairs. I'm really looking forward to this. I hope you are as well too. So as we come back into the dining table, don't know why I'm whispering. <laughs> Let's pop upstairs. So, there it is there. One of the things I love about this, you've got an office area to the side here. So we office area, cubby hole to the side. So if you want to work on your accounts and stuff like that. And then you've also got your shower room in here, if you want. Now they're currently utilizing this as a sitting room. But look at the size of this room. It's absolutely huge. This is like something, a magazine. Keep an eye on these windows and I'll show you in a wee while what's to come. It's a huge room. I'd be sorely tempted to use this as a master bedroom, possibly even having that dressing room sitting in here and then also have your own shower room as well. And then you've got a door there which closes you off from, from basically the rest of the world. It's great. And then you're going to be roasty toasty up here because the sun is beating down. But what a beautiful, beautiful room. Huge amount of natural light coming in. And here. And I'll see from a different angle. 
and here as we go round. And this is it. Look at that view. That is what I see right now. That. That's what I see because I had it zoomed out there. But that's what I see. Look at that view right across there. There is the Bass Rock sitting in the distance there. Can you see it? And it's a wee bit hazy, but see on a clear day, you can see right over to Berwick and Leith quite easily and comfortably. It's an amazing view. I mean, you know, just to wake up to that every single morning. What a beautiful view and beautiful property. Now, down to the side there is that wee pend, as I said. You can just pop down there and you're straight into the water if you've got kayaks and anything like that, so it's ideal for that as well. And then just right along, when you go further back along here, uh, that's you straight into Shore Street, which is the which is the answer to the front, um, and the harbour, and the beach, and the coastal path, and everything else as well that you'd ever want, and all the amenities on your doorstep. Just let me recap then. Take a wee seat. Okay, so we've seen four bedrooms, two reception, three bathrooms, that amazing back garden, you know where it is in close proximity to everything. It's easy walking distance. It's a real lifestyle choice. The double garage workshop out to the rear with the WC in there as well and the laundry room off the back if you want it. And it's going to sit in the sun all day long, that back garden. It's an amazing opportunity to get this property. Kind of once they're gone, they're gone. It's a real beautiful period property. You've seen right through it now. You can get more details on this post by clicking on the link um, so you can get further details there for the pictures and the descriptions if you want uh, or you can contact us direct on this post by messaging us direct with your contact details or you can call us on 01333 421 774. Until next time guys from God's country, I'm Jim Parker for Five Properties TV.